one, I'm going to go over the performance upgrades as far as what will be in the RetroArch in my core set and how to know what's in there. So if I go to today's core set update, for 328, it'll be 329 now, of course. I'm going to go into the extras folder, performance folder. I'll have this work in progress file which shows the games that people are asking me to check out and if you don't see these on the list let me know in comments until I put them on the list. I'll check them all out. But if you go into the performance readme, you'll have a little thing as far as static and dynamic. Static ones are unchangeable names. They will not run unless you have the very specific name that I mentioned. They won't run otherwise no matter what you do unless you have that name. And then, of course, dynamic names, which would be for Nintendo, Nintendo 64, etc. But for right now, the performance upgrades that are currently included in today's core set update. Final Burn Alpha 2012. You have Demon Front. And these are the three ROM sets that will have the performance boost applied to them. And then for Final Burn Alpha 2016, we have Alien Storm, Demon Front, Knights of Valor, Knights of Valor 2, and Gladiator. And I'm going to increase these ROM sets with the next update. I only have one of each for Knights of Valor and Knights of Valor 2, but I'll fuller fledge these out and have all of them accounted for. But for right now, I use these two that I mentioned. Then for MAME 2003, I have Dungeon Magic, Elevator Action, Golden Axe 2, Lightbringer, Ninja Baseball Batman, Outrunners, Stadium Cross, and Spider-Man the Video Game. And all the ROM sets are named accordingly. So again, let me know in comments, messages, etc. what games you want me to look into. And I'll put them in this readme in future updates so you know which ROM sets you need to have. So if you have Outrunners and you're running it with MAME 2003, it'll have the performance upgrade automatically load when you use this core. And I'll show you which core it's going to be. Go into the release yet again. And it'll be for 329 now since it is officially past midnight. It'll be... Retro Arc Extreme in my core set right here. And if you don't want the performance upgrades and such, you can install Retro Arc Standard. But if you'd like to install the FF MPEG so you can play videos, you can install just Extreme or just Standard and then install FF MPEG afterwards. And then of course you can install shaders afterwards as well. So these could still have the add ons applied to them if you'd like to have them. But these are the performance upgrades I have right now, and I'll get many, many more. I mean, there's thousands upon thousands of games. Just let me know what you'd like to see added, and I'll get them in there.